in Los Angeles, a driver in a stolen Toyota tries something he's never done before. Running from the police. Unfortunately for him, he's not very good at it. This guy's driving like a tourist without a map right now. Most suspects fly down the freeway. But this one seems allergic to his gas pedal. He's doing about 30 miles an hour. He doesn't even know which direction to go. This guy seems to be changing his mind. The suspect tries a few shortcuts. He circles through one gas station after another, after another. This is now the third time he has just driven through a gas station. But he just gets dizzy. While most fugitives blast through red lights, All right, we're, we're approaching an intersection here. The timid Toyota hesitates at every corner. He's almost crawling his way across. And if he thinks making useless U-turns will confuse police, this is an odd, slow chase. I have not seen this before. Then he's the one who's confused. For a moment, it looks like the driver is getting serious. He makes a risky move, accelerating down the wrong side of the street. Well, now he's trying to pass those squad cars. But he loses his nerve and veers back into the correct lane. Police could certainly stop this reluctant renegade. But since he's not posing a major threat, they don't want to provoke dangerous behavior. That doesn't mean they don't take this situation seriously. And there's more than a dozen police units on his tail right now. Finally, the car sputters to a halt, and the cautious crook surrenders. Okay, he's face down. He's totally complying right now. But in his muddled attempt to flee justice, he's ended up just one block from the courthouse. He's doing about 30 miles an hour. When it came to running from the law, this man had the will, but not the skill. This guy is he's driving like a tourist without a map. In fact, the only thing this fumbling fugitive did right, right the suspect is face down, was give up.